Hello guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to explore how asteroids really killed the dinosaurs. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right in. Two trillion metric tons of rock is headed straight for them, and impact is less than 20 minutes away. But the rock's enormous mass is only part of the threat. As it gets closer to the planet, the Earth's gravitational pull gets stronger, causing the asteroid to accelerate until it's traveling at more than 70,000 kilometers per hour. And mass times acceleration equals force. As the asteroid encounters atmosphere, friction turns it into a fireball. It takes just four minutes to cross the Atlantic Ocean on its way towards Mexico and the Alamosaurus. As it travels, it crushes and superheats the air surrounding it, turning gas and debris into white-hot plasma. At around 20,000 degrees Celsius, it burns many times brighter than the surface of the sun. just five seconds to flash through the atmosphere. The impact seems instantaneous. But hidden within this cataclysm is a series of discrete events, invisible to the naked eye, but key to understanding what follows. The asteroid's trajectory is shallow. It flies in at around a 30-degree angle to the surface. This means that the full brunt of its destructive power will be thrown forward of the impact point. Even before the fireball touches down, its brightness in the sky is unimaginable. Eight hundred kilometers from the impact site, the light is so intense it causes the flesh of the Alamosaurus to appear transparent and burns images of their shadows onto the ground. The scorching light sears their eyeballs. They now can't see what's headed their way, but they can feel it. The asteroid hits with an explosive force of a hundred trillion metric tons, more than a billion times the power of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. If the asteroid had crashed into deep ocean, some of the force would have been absorbed. Instead, it hits the shallow waters of the Gulf of Mexico, which instantly vaporize. In a fraction of a second, the entire asteroid disintegrates into the planet. Earth and rock are hurled skywards at 160,000 kilometers an hour. Behind them, more than 300,000 cubic kilometers of the Earth's crust explodes from the ground. 800 kilometers from the crash site, the air temperature reaches 300 degrees Celsius, so hot that the water in the dinosaur's skin boils, escaping in bursts of steam. The fiery blast sucks every drop of moisture from the surrounding vegetation. Anything directly exposed to the blistering heat is simply burned alive.